Hey y'all, super excited news. I have enough money to pay off my student loans. It is finally the day. I did the numbers. Y'all have been here with me as I tried to figure out what I was gonna do. April 17th was the date that I gave myself and it's April 15th, my last payday that is free and clear to pay off the rest of my student loans. However, I am facing a slight dilemma because with everything going on in the world and the United States freeing up federal student loans from acqu uh, acquiring interest, has a part of me wanting to save onto the money and just pay it off in September because it doesn't have uh, interest doesn't start back again until September 30th. So now I'm in this weird bubble trying to figure out what I want to do. I did open up a Roth IRA with Fidelity to invest in some index funds and a part of me just wants to keep putting money into that and to save uh, the rest of the money just in case there's a rainy day with everything that's happening. And by doing the math, before September, I can re-up, I guess is the best way to say it, re-up on the money that will be needed to pay off my student loans. So either way, I'm feeling very proud and excited to be in this place right now where I have enough liquid cash to be done. Like, I can't believe I did this. I'm like super emotional for a lot of different reasons. And I don't mean to say I, I can't believe I did this. Like I know that I did it. It was a plan. It was only a matter of time, but I wasn't expecting this much emotion. Oh my goodness. When I paid off my suit, uh, my credit cards, I was not like this. It was just like, oh yeah, I did it, ready for the next. And that was actually really hard. But I think to finally be in the place of being able to pay off my student loans because I worked so hard. <sighs> I said no to so many like different things with my friends. I really made sacrifices. And to be at this point, I'm just really proud of myself. Oh my gosh. At one point I was working like four to five different jobs from my, oh my goodness, I, I worked my regular nine to five, then I took on added responsibility as a great team leader. Then I did after school, PM school. Then I worked for um, Cambly, which is a ESL platform. Then I worked for iTutor, which is another ESL platform. So literally working every day of the week, just trying to make sure that I met these goals that I set for myself that were very ambitious and I did it and oh I feel like these last couple of weeks have been really really hard being quarantined by myself um and really struggling with this new normal and I really struggled with the idea of like, who am I now that I'm not teaching face to face with my students, that I'm not making connections, like I'm not using my strengths, I'm not using my gifts and I really struggled with. So what does that leave me if I don't have my gifts, if I don't have my talents, if I can't use what God gave me? Uh, and I feel like this moment is like, it's all over the place, but... <laughs> This is who I am, like I'm the person who sets goals and who meets them and who works hard and who who just wants, oh my goodness, I'm like geeked right now, I can't even. Oh my goodness, the only person, the only people I owe stuff to is for my mortgage, like that's wild. Granted, I didn't hit the send button yet to send my payment, 
but just the fact that like I did it, I saved up the money, I met my goal despite all the obstacles, despite like questioning myself if I'm making the right decision. I'm geeked. <laughs> and it's crazy because I can't even celebrate with anybody in like a physical form or go out and celebrate, but I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I always had this fear that I would never be satisfied. One of my exes told me that. He was like, you're never satisfied. You always want more. Like you just aren't just happy with where you are. Um, and it stung because I do have this fear that I'll never be satisfied and never be happy. But like in this moment, I'm so freaking happy. Like I can't remember the last time I was this happy, like at all. I am so geeked right now. <laughs> Ah, uh, I'm so freaking happy. And I didn't even get my stimulus check, y'all. Like, I, the direct deposit, for some reason, I don't even know, didn't get it. And I was kind of annoyed with that earlier. So annoyed. But now, after, like, checking my account, seeing that deposit, and, like, seeing the amount of money that I have versus the amount that I owe is just freeing I feel so free like no one can knock on my door like sis you owe us no boo <laughs> ah, I'm geeked I'm so 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 excited because either way you split it flip it or rearrange it we in there we in there so yeah I'm gonna think about it I'm gonna pray about it I'm gonna talk to my parents about it and my aunt and some friends just to see like what the consensus is i feel like most people are going to tell me to wait until september to pay it off uh, that would be a cool birthday gift to myself um but just because it's the loans are there there's no interest being added to them and we are in kind of uncertain times so i feel like that is what my gut is kind of leaning towards i feel like that's also what people are going to tell me and a part of me was kind of like, oh, don't pay off your student loans. With the political climate, at some point, one of these politicians is going to have to, you know, forgive student loans and it'll be over with. But Lord knows how long that's going to take, number one. And number two, it's just money. Like, and for me to be in this spot, I'm so privileged. It's like, oh, it's just money. It'll come back. Like that is the type of feeling. This journey, being on these baby steps in and this personal finance journey has given me the freedom to say like, oh, it's just money, it'll come back, right? Where some people don't have that privilege and I'm so grateful and thankful to be able to have that mindset of it's just money, it'll come back. It'll come back, like, okay, it'll come back. So that's my viewpoint on it right now. Y'all celebrate with me, send me love. I'm so freaking excited. <laughs> oh my God, it's lit, it's lit, it's lit, it's lit, it's lit. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go for a walk and celebrate. And then I'm gonna do my budget for the these next two weeks and update y'all on that. Maybe we can budget together now that your girl is just like out here. I'm so freaking happy, y'all. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. My hair came out cute. And I never wear a front part, ever. So the fact that I'm even wearing a front part lets you know that I'm like feeling myself high key. I'm so excited. I don't even, I don't even have the words. <laughs> but yeah, this is it. 10, 10 minute video of me just being geeks and excited and loving on myself. Um, like and subscribe so you can follow my journey as what I'm gonna do with this you know little change I have uh, but yeah in the meantime in between times stay blessed and stick to your budget as best as you can in these 
weird and scary times. Love you much. Debt Free Bay coming soon. Check me out. Y'all already know the vibes.